Welcome in Iowa Hawkeye football fans to another Hawkeye tailgate report and I guess I shouldn't say another Hawkeye tailgate report. Uh, it's it's the day we beat Ohio State folks. We finally did it. The, the Hawkeyes get that big old bump off their back. Dismantle Ohio State and Kinnick Stadium. Blackout all around Iowa City that day and the Hawkeyes just stuck it right to the Buckeyes and it was just a thing of beauty to see and who would have thought the Hawkeyes would have won I guess the Hawkeyes made it a shootout Ohio State didn't want to participate but Hawkeyes were all over the Buckeyes there was there wasn't anything that looked bad about the Hawkeyes in this game uh their offensive play calling was phenomenal the defense is good as usual uh they got burnt a couple of times deep but other than that they figured that out early kicking game was strong return game was good we didn't make any mental mistakes the crowd was loud and they backed the Hawkeyes all night it was just a flawless game flawless execution and the Hawkeyes are receiving some gr- some really big recognition here early in the week as they are now ranked in the top 25. Uh, We'll get to the scoring summary here. Hope you have a few minutes because it's going to be a long one. Amani Hooker started things off. First play of the game for Ohio State. A pick six, 30 yards. Iowa led 7-0 and Kinnick was rocking. Uh, But next possession for Ohio State, Terry McLaurin would catch a pass from JT Barrett and a 29-yard touchdown reception. That thing to tie things to th- tie things up at 7. Miguel Racinos would knock home a 30-yard field goal to make it 10-7. Ohio State would answer with a 27-yard field goal of their own to make it 10-10. to uh, At the end of the first quarter, I'm sure most Hawkeye fans were happy that Hawkeyes were still in it. Uh, start of the second quarter, TJ Hawkinson, who had a big day, had caught a- his first touchdown, 10-yard pass from Nathan Stanley, 17-10. to Ohio State would answer once again, though. Johnny Dixon, 44-yard touchdown pass from Barrett, 17-7, wide open in the secondary that time. Uh, The Hawkeyes would finish the half strong, though. Noah Fant would catch a 25-yard pass from Nathan Stanley, uh, give the Hawkeyes a 7-point lead, and then right before the half, an interception set up a short drive for the Hawkeyes, and Noah Fant caught another 3-yard touchdown pass from Nathan Stanley, 31-17 31 to 17 was the score at the intermission. In the third quarter, only one scoring opportunity was made, and that was by the Hawkeyes. TJ Hawkinson uh, gave the Hawkeyes a 21 point lead with a two yard touchdown catch from Stanley once again. It was pretty much just flawless up to that point. I couldn't. I kept looking at the scoreboard, and I couldn't believe what I saw. Hawkeyes led 38-17 going into the fourth. Then our fullback, Drake Kulik, caught a two-yard pass. Uh, his first career touchdown, that was a great thing to see as well. Pushed the lead up to 45-17. to Hawkeyes weren't done there as Miguel Racinos, golden leg himself, knocked home another 30-yard field goal. Uh, Ohio State would score a touchdown late. Johnny Dixon, 22-yard pass from Barrett. But that was just that was against our second teamers. But the Hawkeyes weren't done scoring yet. Torin Young had a big fourth quarter, six-yard touchdown run, and that's where the score would stand. 55 to 24. You heard that right, Hawkeye fans. I still get goosebumps just thinking about how great that game was the other day. But uh, we'll dig into some Iowa stats here. And uh We'll start with Nathan Stanley, the man under center himself. People have questioned all year his ability to throw the deep ball, and I think he shut those haters up uh, a lot in this game. Stanley, 20-31, 226 yards, five touchdowns, and no interceptions. Wadley, just a regular game for him, 20 carries, 118 yards, three receptions for 40 yards. James Butler had a Good welcome back. 10 carries for 74 yards and a really big one. A little more speed. He probably would have got made it into a touchdown. Hawkinson, five catches, 71 yards. Uh, maybe a weapon emerging for this Iowa offense if we can have him and Fant out there at the same time. They're both deadly weapons I hope the Hawks can exploit. Uh, Fant, four catches for 54 yards, two touchdowns. Drake Kulik, one touchdown on the day. Uh, we move to the defensive side of the ball. Ben Neiman, seven tackles and a sack. Of course, Josh Jackson with the Sports Center top play for Saturday with three interceptions and the big one late with the one hand. Uh, and then Amani Hooker pick six to get the game started and it was just if you weren't excited at that game 
and you're a Hawkeye fan, you, something's not right with you. It was pure electricity at Kinnick Stadium on Saturday. And even from sitting on the couch, I'm sure people had goosebumps, were freaking out as well. My dad and I both said that's the best game we've ever seen an Iowa Hawkeye team play. I'm 20, almost 23, and he's uh, he's around 52, so it's it was just magic. I did not see that coming. I don't think any Hawkeye fan did. But uh, we're going to get to our interviews here. Stay tuned. We're going to take a listen to a few ads from our sponsors first. Cobra Lanes in Farley, Iowa is now open for the year. Come out and bowl at the 8-Lane Family Fun Center. Want a new bowling ball? Visit the Pro Shop and have it drilled by owner Al Heiberger. Want some dinner? Order some food from the kitchen and eat it in their dining area. Want to have a good time? Visit their bar for happy hour from 4 to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. Roll on down to Cobra Lanes in Farley for a great time. As a small business owner, you know tax season is not nearly as exciting as Iowa game day. With Peak Ridge Partners, you won't have to worry about the stress of tax season. Peak Ridge Partners takes the stress of tax and accounting off of your shoulders, allowing you to focus your time on maximizing your business's potential. Our cloud-based bookkeeping system will allow you to stay on top of your tax and accounting needs. When you choose Peak Ridge Partners, you have the ability to access all your bookkeeping information at any time on any mobile device, allowing you to communicate with us 24-7. Choose Peak Ridge Partners. We save small businesses time and money. Go Hawks! Thanks for staying tuned to the Hawkeye Tailgate Report. I'm Luke Myers. What's your name, sir? Mr. Bird. All right, where are you from, Mr. Bird? Carroll, Iowa. Carroll, Iowa. All right. It's a crowd favorite right here. But uh, so the Hawkeyes coming into this one, five and three versus the top five team. What do you think of their season so far? I'll stay. Buckeyes, you want to go one on one with the great ones? Well, I don't think so. Kinnick Stadium, 2.30. If you smell what the Hawks are cooking. <laughs> All right, all right. So I love the confidence there. But uh, so, what do you think for a final score then? By the, I, I, from what you just seventeen ten. Seven. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you like seventeen ten? Seventeen ten. All right, all right. So what do you got going on at your tailgate today? Uh, just a lot of praying and reading and <laughs> talking about political issues. <laughs> all right. What are you drinking today? We're doing a little um, hot chocolate and butterscotch schnapps, a little cherry bombs. A little, a little jello shots. Ladies and gentlemen, a magic trick. You ready? You watch, you ready? Now you see it? <laughs> Let's go, Hawks! Yeah. All right, all right. So you want some trivia questions? Yes, we have some trivia questions. Here we go. I'm ready to help from the crowd. All right. When was the last time College Game Day visited Iowa? It was against this Ohio State team. Uh, four years ago. No, 2006. Oh. Versus Ohio. Wow. <laughs> 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 Missed it by that much. <laughs> hey, that's all right. Hey, uh, Joe, what was the other question I had? 2015, we went undefeated in the regular season. Who were the two ranked teams? Penn State. What? Wasn't that the last second field goal? That wasn't 215? No. Um, Andy, Andy, who they? Who the two defeated? Teams they beat in 2015. The two ranked teams we beat in 2015. He'll know. Michigan. Iowa, 2015. Who are the two ranked teams we beat? He's got them. He's got them. We got Northwestern and Michigan as the two teams that lost to Iowa when they were ranked in 2015. Wisconsin and Northwestern. I'm sorry. I'm all hyped up right now. But, uh, hey, that's all I got for you. Thanks. Thanks for stopping by, man. Hey. Enjoy the rest of your day. We have some more guys here on the Hawkeye Tailgate Report. What's your guys' names? Rich. Benji. Eddie. All right, where are you guys from? Center Point, Iowa. Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Waverly, Iowa. All right, all right. So, Hawkeyes coming into this one, five and three. What do you think of them so far? Pretty good so far. Uh, good opportunity. Let's see what they can do today. I think we're going to pull it off tonight. Offense is weak. We'll see what they can do. <laughs> all right, now Ohio State comes in as a top five team, and I always get excited when I see them on the schedule because we don't get them that often. What do you think about tonight's game? It's going to be tough. Uh, hope for the best. We do pretty well when top five teams come into our come into Kinnick. I think they're overrated at best. Uh, Cleveland Indians blew a 3-1 lead to the Chicago Cubs, so I'm going to think they're going to do the same today. <laughs> all right, all right. So what's going on at your guys' tailgate here today? It's a cousin's party. Cousins? A lot of boozing. 
Bush Light, I see. Yep. Good choice. Mostly gluten free uh, because my, my brother can't have it, so that's why we did it for him. They're not overrated. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so you guys. You guys ready to let a, a couple uh, Buckeyes in? There was an Ohio State fan on the show last, or Iowa State fan. Okay. Iowa State. Oh. Both he, he's all right. He got two of three Iowa trivia questions right. Oh, so that that's was a little good. surprising. Oh. But, uh, all right. So, trivia questions coming. When was the last time College Game Day on ESPN visited Iowa City? I'll give you a hint. It was against Ohio State. 2006. 2008. 2010. It was 2006. Good guess. Oh. Good, there you go. There you go, sir. All right. Uh, what was the other question? I can't. Oh yeah. In 2015, Iowa went undefeated in the regular season. Who were the two ranked teams they beat? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. In Nebraska. Michigan. No, Wisconsin's one of them. Because that was at Wisconsin. The other one was a road game as well. Okay. Akron Wadley's coming out day. Northwestern. Yep. Northwestern was correct. Uh, but guys, thanks for coming on the show. You want to you want to alter you want a Michelob alter? You can have one of those for Go free. Hawk. All right. All right. Hey, cool. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Go Hawks. Next up on the Hawkeye Tailgate Report is Chuck Hurley. Where are you from, Chuck? Osage, Iowa. Osage. All right. So Hawkeyes coming in, keeping that big fat pig in good old Iowa City. What did you think of the game last week? Oh, who doesn't love bacon, right? That's right. So. They're having a iffy season so far. What are your thoughts? I think, uh, you know, they just they got some stuff they need to refine on um, and keep keep working, keep working towards the, the big picture, uh, keep the big picture in mind. Um, yeah, they just need to keep, keep hammering away. Good things are coming. All right, Ohio State's coming into Iowa City. Iowa always does well against top five teams at Kinnick. Uh, what do you think about tonight's game? Well, you know, like everybody else here, I'm hoping for a win. They need to keep JT Barrett on his heels, keep pressure on him. And the defense, of course, that being said, has got to stand up. The offense has got to produce, too. Uh, you got a score prediction for tonight? I really don't. Uh, I'm, I'm, hoping for the, I'm hoping for a Hawkeye win. Uh, well, 19-16, maybe. Iowa? Yeah. All right. I love it. Love it. So uh, you, we're at our first recurring tailgate this we were here last week but we got a new guy to come on the show so uh uh what's going on here oh we're just hanging out having a good time getting loosened up for the game and uh watching people and uh just having a good time all right so i have two trivia questions for you all right um when was the last time college game day the show on espn every saturday morning visited iowa city maybe uh 2012 2006. Well, minus six years. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. It was against Ohio State that time as well. Um, the other question Dogs! is... Dogs! <laughs> he was on this last week. He was on the show last week. Uh, hey, guys, what was the question? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I even thought of that question, so, all right. Who were the two ranked teams Iowa beat in their undefeated campaign in 2015? Hmm. They were both road games. Wow. I might have been too drunk to remember that. <laughs> That's fine. I understand that. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Northwestern was one. Northwestern's one. Hey, show, a show her for a second. She got it right. All right. Second team. It's a rivalry game. Why well, it wouldn't have been Minnesota. Oh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. There we go. All right. Well... That's all I have for you. Thanks all for coming right. on the show. Hey, Go Hawks. Great. Thank you. Go Hawks. All right. Next up on the Hawkeye Tailgate Report is Mr. Steve Winter. How you doing? Good. Good, good, good. So you want to tell the folks where you're from? Luxembourg, Iowa. Luxembourg. No. All right. Well, kind of. Des Moines. Des Moines area right now, right? Correct. All right. So you're here. You got season tickets. You got your own tailgate. What do you think of the Hawkeyes this year? I think they are a young team. They're going to grow, and I like Nate Stanley as a sophomore quarterback who's doing good things. All right, now Ohio State rolls in with uh, top five team in the country. What are you thinking? I think Iowa's going to have to pass on first down and get some defensive turnovers to be in the game. All right, defense pretty good. Offense struggled a little this year. Yeah, I totally agree. Defense has bailed them out time after time. We need our offense to step up today and get us uh, some points. 
All right, so you're here pretty much every week. What do you got going on at your tailgate this year? Uh, we've got pretty much it all. We've got food. We've got drinking. We've got <laughs> beer pong. We've got everything. It's Joey, it's a fantastic it's a fantastic tailgate. Get the beer pong table here. The beer pong. All right. All right. All right. Now you ready for some Hawkeye trivia? Yes. Bring it on. All right. In 2015, Hawkeyes went undefeated in the regular season. What two ranked teams did they beat on in out to that 12-0 start? I would say Wisconsin and Nebraska. Would you like to try again? You got Wisconsin right. Pittsburgh? It's I got nothing. It was Akron Wadley's coming out party. Northwestern. Northwestern. Wow. Yep, Northwestern. Yep, they were ranked that year, but Iowa whooped them pretty good, 40 to 10. Oh, absolutely killed them. Absolutely killed them. All right, Joe, what was the other question? I just can't remember these. I just. Oh, yeah, what was the last time game day was in Iowa City? Uh, 2010, Ohio State. Would you like to change the year? 2006, Ohio State. Okay, well, he, he gestured, and this guy was shaking his hand, so yes, it is 2006. Hey! Congrats on and that. I was there, both of those, but I was drunk. Both hey, of those. Obviously, yeah. obviously. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, hey, thanks for coming on the show, and go Hawks. Hey, go Hawks. All right, thanks for staying tuned to the Hawkeye Tailgate Report. I'm Luke Myers. What's your name, sir? Rob Houck. Where are you from? Ankeny, Iowa. Ankeny? All right, so the Hawkeyes, 5-3 and three so far in the season. It hasn't been great, but... They could have done worse. Yeah, no, we're uh, we're looking forward to Ohio State today. You know, I think we could salvage a season. That Penn State game was a real punch in the gut, but uh, you know, we have an opportunity to redeem ourselves today. Yep, yep, we do. Do you got a prediction for tonight's game? I do, absolutely. I think Hawks are going to win. Uh, I'm going to go with 42 to 38. 42 points, really? Yeah. All right, I like it. I like it. Uh, so, what's going on at your tailgate today? You know, we got uh, we got a lot of friends in. Uh, you know, we got some. Uh, no, 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 no. We can't have the Buckeye in here. They, that's ridiculous. That's not good. I don't know who invited him. This is my wife. This is my wife, Diane. What's your name? Hi, Diane. You guys make a cute couple. Yeah, well, well, we think so. She's my, she's my better half here. But uh, we got a lot, a, a nice turnout here. Uh, this is a, this is a pretty typical turnout. We got, like to have about uh, 30 people here. We're gonna cook up some elk burgers. Uh, so if you've never had elk, it's phenomenal. Uh, so we're uh, looking forward to a good day. All right. So would you like some trivia questions? You know, let's do it. All right. Uh, in 2015, the Hawkeyes started 12 and 0, went undefeated in the regular season. Who were the two ranked teams they beat? They were both road games. One of them was a rivalry game. <laughs> um, Wisconsin. That's correct. And uh, Michigan State. Would you like to take a guess? It was, it was a Akram Wadley's coming out party. On the road. Man, I'm struggling. All right, just think about it. Who have we played on the road this year in the Big Ten? It would be the same... Uh, Are you, are you, do you have a guess? I do not, but I mean, really? Northwestern. Northwestern. That is, that is correct. And, oh, God. can't remember the second question I've been asking today, but I'll ask you one of them from last week. Who cut the game-winning touchdown from Drew Tate in the Capital One Bowl in 2005? Oh, come on. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> come on. Clinton Solomon was their main wide receiver that year, but who caught the game? Yeah, Holloway. Yeah. Warren Holloway, we got a mouth gesture from this gentleman back here, but that's all right. That's the game. Yeah, all right, all right. Well, that's all I have for you. Thanks for coming on the show. Go Hawks. All right, thanks, Luke. And now we have to move on here after a really good weekend. We have another top five opponent coming in, or I guess we're going to Wisconsin this weekend. Uh, the Badgers, good old battle for the Heartland Trophy on the line. And this is a very, very big game for Wisconsin. It's their most it's their toughest of the year, you could argue, and they haven't faced a defense like Iowa's yet. If there's been one steady thing for Iowa this year, it's been their defense. They're they're a 
bend but don't break, and rarely do they break. But uh, Wisconsin still in that college football playoff hunt. If they lose this weekend, it's likely done for them because their strength of schedule. So Iowa looks to make it two weekends in a row where they eliminate a college football playoff contender. Uh, let's look at some of the Wisconsin stats. Jonathan Taylor, the running back, he's he's their guy. Wisconsin always has good running backs. Uh, Taylor has. 1,368 yards on the season, go with 12 touchdowns. Doesn't catch the ball a lot out of the backfield, only two catches so far on the season. And this team averages about 36 points per game. Uh, another high-scoring opponent for the Hawkeyes, but like I mentioned, they haven't played a defense like Iowa's. On paper, this Wisconsin team is better on the offensive and defensive sides of the ball, but so was, was or so was Ohio State last weekend, and Iowa performed like I, I just couldn't see that coming and they but they did it they played better on the offensive and defensive sides of the ball than Ohio State and Iowa is three and one in their last four trips to Wisconsin the road team in the last in recent history has been more dominant than the home team in this matchup but it's another rivalry game and it's another opportunity for Iowa to get a very impressive win move on up in the rankings and we, we need some help from Wisconsin here in these last couple weeks they need a lose out we need a win out in order to win the Big Ten West but hey the opportunity's still there and we will absolutely take it. But that wraps up this edition of your Hawkeye Tailgate Report. Uh, make sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and look us up on YouTube. We're going to have some bonus interviews after the credits here, so make sure you watch all the way through that. Uh, it's a little emergency press conference my brother and I had at one of the bars in Iowa City after the game on Saturday night. Thanks for listening, guys. Go Hawks!
you, Purdue. We're coming for you, Wisconsin. And we're coming for you, Nebraska. And we'll see you in the fucking Rose Bowl.